What is up everyone, Gunpla Collection here, and welcome to another episode of GBGW. Now, yesterday, or last night that is, the beta raid mission came out. So I did do a little bit of playing in regards to that, and I found it to be a lot better than the previous first beta mission that we had released for us. Um, so finding rooms, joining rooms is a lot easier. Um, there's no hiccups or anything like that, and um, the rewards, they're, I have to say they're pretty cool. Um, with that being said, let's just go ahead and tap out of this. And I just want to go ahead and show you the rewards real quick, so let's go ahead and jump into the shop real quick. And blueprint. Now under blueprint, in a different episode, I did mention that they have a color uh, blueprint here. So if we go into that, you will see that there is a new item in here so this is the dots red and white so if we tap on that we will find that it requires three items so it requires dots which is the base and then it requires red paint in which you need 50 of and white paint in which you need 35 of so how do we get this well the dots unfortunately I can't show you but I can tell you how to get it so in order to get the dots you would have to do the raid battles so, I believe dots would be, I think it was hard, not very hard. Um, but let's go ahead and jump in there real quick. So, mission. And then event. And I'm going to go ahead and do some raid battles to show you guys what I mean. So, here we have the Red Comet multi-mission raid battle. So, let's jump into that. And, of course, there's normal, hard, and and very hard so i know very hard once you clear it you get a tier 4 awakening circuit if i'm correct um and then if you clear it a certain amount of times you'll get another one meanwhile normal and hard they will provide you with either the dots base or the red paint and that's how i got my 25 red paint so with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into, um, let's see, very hard. I'm going to go ahead and select a room because I don't want to use my energy at this time. And who's am? All right, so I am the last member to join. Let's go ahead and say that. And it works perfectly. The let's do it sign. No hiccups there. The only thing that I noticed that was a little bit strange was the loading. So, you guys can hear the music right now. Music is playing as the loading screen and whatnot. And, and then right here. Normally, it takes a little longer. You hear the game music. So, this isn't too bad. Okay, so my finger placement was terrible. And that was terribly done <laughs> by me. Alright. Dang it. Okay. I tapped the switching um, too quick. I was supposed to target Char, but I didn't. Alright, so anyway, this is the EX mission, or actually the very hard multi-mission it's fairly easy it's almost like the big exam it's just that this is almost like well not almost this is exactly like a normal mission i thought it was going to be like a giant boss like a perfect grade but it seems like this is a master grade char that we're going up against fairly interesting um but 
That is the very hard one. Anyone can actually do this as long as you have three other people with you. In all honesty, there's no way you are not going to pass doing this mission. Um, so this was fairly simple. You can probably do it with two people as well. Fairly easily too. I'm not sure if they'll allow you to do it with just one person, but um, currently loading screen is taking a little bit longer. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in the hard real quick. Select room. And hopefully there's... Uh, okay, there's no one. Uh, there we go. Side room? Room is full. Cannot enter. Come on. Thanatos room. Full again. Dang. That is so weird. They're saying the room is full so quick. Okay. Does it not have anything? I guess I'm just really unlucky here. So let's go and create a room real quick. Create. And we'll go ahead and wait. I'm pretty sure there are going to be people jumping in regardless. Um, unless if they already completed everything. All right, so we have one person in, two, three, perfect. All right. And so two in fighters, one out fighter, or two out fighters. There we go. So for hard and normal, I'm pretty sure it's going to take a long time to even find a group since not a lot of people are doing that and they're doing the very hard mission to basically get the tier 4 awakening circuit that you can get by clearing 20 times Okay. And I'm not going to get him. That was too far. <laughs> and would you look at that? Three of us have maces. All right. Let's go and take a look at this guy's stats. I always take a look at their stats at the end and see what they have. Okay, longsword. Centaurk. Okay, not bad. This guy's just beginning to play. See, like, like I said, it doesn't matter like how well built your parts are. You can jump into a raid mission and still beat it if you have three other people with you. All right, so let's go ahead and select a room. Hopefully we can find a room for normal. Sushi face. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh, it popped up too late. All right, so that's not bad, not bad. And then, um, if you guys haven't noticed, I did change the color scheme um, for the glow color. So it should be red, other than the eyes and anything on the head. Let's activate NTD. It looks pretty cool red too. Let's 
Oh, there's last shooting. And I totally missed because I was targeting. Oh, okay, I got Char. Dang. Last shooting Trans Am Raid. Look at that. The cycle frame is glowing red even though my mobile suit is pure red. It still looks pretty cool, if you ask me. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at Jordan real quick here. Jordan has interesting build. It's the Blitz Gundam. Okay. You know wise. Let's go ahead and take a look here. You know has a balanced build. Fairly similar to mine. It's just that he has the Code V arms, which I really want. Uh, sushi face. Let's take a look at you. Not bad. Okay. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the achievements. And I want to go ahead and show you guys the achievements that you can get for playing an X amount of time. So home. Achievements. Event. So, as you can see, clear five normal missions in the beta, you'll get 25 red paint. Clear 10 hard missions in the beta, you get the 35 white paint. So, these two are basically the main things that you would want to get so that you can get the dots red and white. Um, clearing 15 very hard missions in beta will provide you with one tier 4 awakening circuit now I don't know if they'll provide you with any more extra stuff after you clear this or if it's just going to be you know that's a done deal but um overall it is a pretty fun beta right now and I am actually enjoying it I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys who are playing the beta right now I'm pretty sure you guys are enjoying it just as much as I am so with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a few more here because I, I want to get the paint scheme. So here we go. Normal select room. Fizz. I'm going to go ahead and ready up here. All right. And I really do like the fact that they have stickers involved where you can just post it in there. Um, I do wish that there was um, there was more of like a chat or something like that or maybe voice chat where you can talk to you know your fellow teammates and stuff like that. But I mean, if that doesn't work, it's okay, you know. That's fine. But I do have a Discord channel. Uh, link is in the description if you guys want to join and, you know, talk and whatnot while doing um, raid missions. Feel free to join. Oh, come on. Come on. Sometimes my fingers don't hit the button. All right, here we go, here we go. Whoa. And he's right in front of me, so he is mine. Transcend Raid. Ooh. So this guy has a full freedom build, from what it seems like. Let's take a look real quick. Because I have seen a lot of people use the freedom and whatnot. I just haven't seen the stats once it's fully maxed out. So Beam Saber Wise is the Earth 3, but everything else... A Buster Rifle? Okay, so that's not really the freedom, but... Pretty much this person has the freedom's color scheme now. Because he has the entire freedom body, and that's literally all you need. The body. You don't need the accessories or anything like that. So this guy has a really good build, to be honest. Drago, let's take a look at you as well. Okay, fairly balanced, I would say. Well, more melee attack, though. 
Um, ooh, Zeta Arms on the Exia and Dynamese Head. Okay. Um, one thing I do want to mention is if you press on rematch, um, start the mission again, join with same conditions, no current members will be disbanded. Um, so you do this with a ticket. Now, I don't know what the ticket is, maybe a skip ticket, but we can go ahead and take a look. So with ticket, this is the first time I'm doing this as well. So it could be a solo mission um, from here, or it could just be, you know, AIs taking over. Or not. Okay, that was weird. Oh. I don't understand what the whole with ticket thing was then. Let's take a look at this stats here. Oof. That's gonna be interesting. Hmm. Alright. So this is going to be the last um, raid mission I will be doing. And then from there, I'll actually jump into doing some story missions. So I want to make sure that story missions are completed as well because I, I don't want to fall back. And I want to make sure that I can do the story missions with you guys. What? Uh... Connection has been lost. That was very weird. So either that won't work, or, you know, it's just a bug. Alright, so anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the story mission. I'm going to go ahead and do one or two of them. And then from there, um, I'm going to call it a video. Alright? Alright, so let's go ahead and back out of this, back once more, and we are jumping into story mission now, and chapter 1-8. September, the start of- oh, that went by too quick. It's over, dot dot dot. It's all over, Gum GP Collect. Our summer break has ended, never to return, dot dot dot. Hmm. Looks like your soul's leaving your body. Time sure passes faster as you get older. No, summer rake isn't ended yet. Um, looks like. There we go. If only it could, dot dot dot. Then I could go back to the day before summer rake and relive it forever and ever, dot dot dot. Cut that out, you two. Your lackadaisical attitude is unbecoming. B but, dot dot dot. Our hopes and dreams for a perfect summer break were swallowed up by g battles and homework, and now it's all over. All I got out of it was this kapool, dot dot dot. Is that not the saddest junior year summer break ever? No. That kapool is pretty dope. A kapool which seems to have been neglected. Unsharpened edges will not cut. It's true for people in Gunpla alike. Now, let's say we get back into the spirit of things and shake some rust off with the battle. That's a good idea. Alright, chapter 8-1-1. So, approximate comet power is... Jeez, 420,000. Alright, defeat enemies. Okay, so we don't need to check that. Um, our team is pretty much... Well, going to our main build... Even though I do need a sw wait, I am confused. Oh no, I'm not. Okay, so let's go in here, Rindo, and let's play. So the story missions are slowly getting harder and harder. So for those of you guys that don't have a build that's focused on stats and you guys only have like um, welfare parts and whatnot, there is a good chance that you won't be doing as much damage as you would like to do. Alright.
gonna activate the NTD real quick. And Kapoor. Let's go ahead and take out the Sonic Kapoor real quick. Is that a new Gundam? Yeah, we'll never know now. Nope, it's not. Okay. Alright, there we go. So we have 60 Haro chips right there. And I'm excited because 60 Haro chips is important. Now, especially with story missions, you get 60 per battle. Alright, let's go for this one. This time we're using Sana, so Sortie. And for those of you guys that haven't seen my video where I use the Sonic Pool, the Sonic Pool is actually pretty funny. And um, I do enjoy using it, to be honest. Um, one thing, though, is if you use the Sonic Pool, you don't want to have any melee weapon attached to it. Why do I say that? Well, the Sonic Pool looks better when it's just clawing at people. Oof. And this guy just ran into me, so he died. And here we go, we are battling a Rindo now. Hopefully this is Rindo that I'm attacking. Nope. I totally missed Rindo. Yikes. Oh, there we go. Wait, what the heck? That was very interesting. So, Sana actually knocked Rindo's Gunpla out of the ring for a bit, and then it came back. Okay. Alright. I There is something that I'm really curious about. So, I'm wondering, if I don't manage to clear it in under, let's say, 300 seconds, and the check mark isn't checked, do I just miss out on the hardships? And I just can't replay it anymore? Because you know how, like, when you finish the story mission battles, you can't really redo them again. That's weird. Alright. Let's keep going here. Next. Rindo. Man, it, I, I feel like if, the, if all the events had stories involved... That would be pretty cool, but I think that would turn into the whole A card and B card thing. And that was a hassle. And this is Master Grade. Alright, there we go. Sana's dead. And we completed it. Alright. Gyogu Cannon Head. There we go. Alrighty, so... Should be done here. And um, if I can manage to get... 400... And 50 Haro chips. I will do one more new Gundam roll. In all honesty. Alright. So dash 4. I don't know how long this whole battle sequence is going to be. Um, hopefully it's not too long. 
Oof. But yeah, four, five, zero, zero hardships or more. I will do one more new Gundam roll. Ooh, this is a new uh, stage. Activate NTD. Oh boy. There we go. There's Rindo. Rindo is so tanky, it's crazy. Especially when you have to face against her. Wait, my ally died? No way. Um, Rindo's fairly tanky, especially when you're facing against her in uh, previous EX missions and whatnot. But then again, I don't even know what like the part attributes and stuff like that she has. Alright, so here we have Chapter 8, Section 2. So we will be stopping here in regards to story missions. And I will actually continue on with the story missions in the next episode. Well, not really the next episode, but the following episode. Alright, other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. Have fun with the beta raid missions. I know you guys are going to have fun with it. Don't forget, as well, you know, you still have the event going on. So, you know, balance the two. Um, and if you guys join the Discord and want to do raid battles, but don't want to use EN at all, just let me know. Or let some of the people in there know, and then we'll go ahead and form groups where we can use our own EN and help you guys. Alright, other than that guys, uh, if you guys are enjoying the content I'm putting out for GBGW, make sure to give my videos a thumbs up. Comment in the videos, let me know what you think of the game so far, what you want to, you know, figure out and stuff like that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification icon so that you guys are up to date with all the new videos I post for GBGW. Other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.